Hi everyone, Mr. Mott here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a Zoom meeting that you've already set up and share it with students on the Seesaw platform. In a different video, I showed you how to create the meeting. So this is the next step. How do you share it with students? So I have a meeting scheduled here for me to do a read aloud. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the meeting title. And I need to take this information here, the website address, and copy that. And then I'm going to paste that into Seesaw. Now, I have two options in Seesaw. I can either create an activity that I assign to specific students, or I can create an announcement to send to the students. Most likely you're doing this for the whole class. So you're going to use the send announce. You're probably fine with the send announcement feature. So I'm gonna send an announcement and I'll just say, click here for today's read aloud. And I can click add attachment. And this is a link to a website. So I'm going to paste in the link button. And this is the little icon that's gonna show up on the announcement. And then if I need to put directions here, I can. Like if you wanted to put the password there, you could put the password there. You could also put the link right here in this box if you wanted to also. But since it's down here, you really don't have to do that. And then you have to pick who you're sending it to. And then you can go ahead and click send now. I'm going to send that now. And then on the student side in their inbox, they would be able to click on the inbox and they'd be able to click the link and go to that meeting. Now, and then you have to give permission to open Zoom and all those things. I'm not going to do that right now. The other thing you can do is you can assign an activity. Like say you're going to do, do this read aloud, you could just Create the activity. Uh, read aloud at okay. Pretend today's read aloud. And then, if you want to, you can add instruct. Um, you can add voice instructions to this. Right now, I'm not going to do that because this is just showing you how to get the link to the students. You get the little preview there, you click the green check, read aloud. So the, this activity is created and then I save it. Once it's saved, then I can assign it to students. So I'm just gonna assign it to uh, one, just so that the other teacher doesn't get an email about this, okay? And this always pops up, that's annoying, okay? And then again, the student will see the read aloud link and then they'll be able to click on the image and they'll, it'll prompt them to launch Zoom and it'll get them into the meeting, okay? So that's two ways that you can share the meeting, the Zoom meeting with students using Seesaw. You just have to decide which way is the best for you. In another tutorial, I will show you how to actually use Zoom during a live lesson. So go ahead and check out my other YouTube videos to find that information. Okay. Hope, hope you find this video helpful and good luck.